very important for people here in the audience to really know that, you know, we all are coming from, most of us actually from very humble backgrounds. So I was born in the um, uh, northern part of KZN uh, in a small village called uh, Guabiela. I'm sure no one knows where that is because <laughs> it's not on the <laughs> Yes. Okay, so I mean, but I think, you know, so as I was growing up, you know, with uh, six, um, we were six in the family, I was number two. But I think for me, what really shaped me earlier on was that my, so th it was three boys and three girls. What shaped me was that my parents never treated, uh, you know, never gave more attention to either boys, boys or girls. We were treated equally. You know, boys were supposed, to, if it was scrubbing the floors, boys would scrub the floors. If it was washing the dishes, boys would wash the dishes. So basically my mother and father, even though again, you know, we were, you know, humble backgrounds, you know, they ran a shop uh, in, the, in a general dealer in the neighborhood, they really always said to us, the sky is the limit, irrespective of whether you are a boy or a girl. So I think earlier on, Tandy, that really shaped my outlook. So I knew that, you know, I was never gonna stay in that small village because that small village was really never gonna give me what I thought was possible. So with the, with the education that I was again fortunate to, to, get, to, to, to get, and I actually went to Oshlange High School, and I know that there are few zebras here in the audience, including uh, uh, Togo, Titiza, so, and again there, you know, with the history of that school, you know, Othangi High School, and you, you know, most of you, you will know who is the founder uh, uh, of, of that school, Dr. Langanbibalele Dube. Again, you know, it was really about, you know, looking to the future, thinking big, not just thinking about yourself only. So, you no, know, I went on to Othangi High School, I finished, and you know, because I was you know, quite focused, and I guess my parents were very strict about succeeding, you know, I really had no choice but to, but to pass well. Mm -hmm. So I was very fortunate, Tandy, that you know, mm -hmm. after uh, finishing my matric at Othangi, I actually got a scholarship and I went to America. Went to America, uh, you know, finished my, uh, studied there, did an economics degree and an MBA. Came, ba came back uh, in 1994, uh, to South Africa and really, again, being in America during that period when there was change, when, you know, South Africa was really going through, a, you know, difficult period, but also in 1994, after the elections, you know, we voted in Boston and again, we were very involved and alive to what was going on and wanted to come back and make an impact. So I came back and I was looking for a job. I mean, I had studied finance and economics and I wanted to be a merchant banker because, you know, I thought that's really what I wanted to do. And I wanted to also show that women can do it in a male-dominated environment. But deep down though, Tandy, I looked I look for something bigger than just that, you know. I was looking for something bigger than just me making millions one day and being a, you know, a big uh, a merchant banker. So I went searching, and you know, during my search, I actually met up uh, with uh, Mrs. Mbeki, uh, you know, after reading about uh, WDP and, and the work that WDP uh, was doing. And now I really thought to myself, okay, now I know that this is really what I wanna do. This is the, pep this, is, this, is, you know, this is my purpose. But obviously I still wanted to make sure that I also, uh, built a career. So, you know, I went on into banking, worked for Standard Bank, but while I was in Standard Bank for 12 years, I carried on working with WDP, uh, sitting on the board of WDP. Tanya told the story yesterday, I don't wanna repeat that, but really the reason why I stayed on at WDP was because I felt that WDP really had a purpose. So for me, um, uh, Dr. T, I mean, if I think about my journey and where I am today and what really matters to me, I think what matters to me today is really having a purpose mm -hmm. and making a difference yeah. and really using my skills, my talent, my gifts to share and to see how we can make this South Africa the great country that it is.